This instructional video for the Fusion Plus, our new Fusion Plus remote control. The first thing, it should always stay on this charger when you get it, and you'll see the flashing light there that tells you it's charging in the blue light here. When it's fully charged, it should go to green. Okay. Now, we take the yacht controller. When you turn it on, you hear this beeping. The rapid beeping is telling you I'm on, something is wrong, we're not communicating. You turn on the yacht controller remote control by holding down the power button till the lights come solid. You let it go, it goes to a slow beep, which is telling you I'm on, we're communicating, but you haven't linked up, you haven't engaged with the yacht controller yet. You hit the power button twice, once, twice, very slowly like that, it'll work every time. Lights are flashing, beeps are gone, and now you're in command with the yacht controller. Okay, um, we'll start at the top. You have, it has two, what we call the anchor controls. Um, at this point, we can only control one of these at a time. In the very near future, we are going to have a receiver that will be capable of controlling two anchors or an anchor and let's say like a short power cable or a gangway, anything that has an up-down electrical switch, we can control with these two. This is the anchor portion, and if you'll see the lights up here, you see anchor down, anchor, anchor up. Okay, that's what that button's for. These four buttons right here with the arrows. Do that one more time. Anchor down, anchor up. Anchor down, anchor up. Okay, these four buttons right here are for individual thruster activation. Okay, so this is your bow, this is your stern. If you want to go to port, you hit that button, starboard that button, same thing, starboard stern, port stern. Okay, um, you have the joystick in the middle. When in just regular manual mode, the joystick is going to be intuitive and work just like any of the joysticks. You want to go forward, you hit the button, gives you both engines in forward. Reverse, both engines in reverse. If you want to make a, a turn to that way, you push a 45 that way, you get one engine going in uh, the opposite engine in forward, which will turn your boat that way. Okay, same thing in the other direction. And in reverse, it does the same thing. Okay. Um, right now in manual mode, if you turn the joystick, it gives you both engines, one in forward, one in reverse, so that it spins the boat that way or spins the boat that way. We call that the slow turn because the next thing we're going to go to is the A button. The A button, when it's off, you're in manual mode and you see you get everything just like I just explained. When you turn on so that you have the light and the automatic is on, now it adds your thrusters to it. So if you want to do a, so you would want to do a fast turn. And when you twist it now, you get not only engines, but thrusters too, to turn your boat, boat rapidly in whichever direction you want to go. Okay. The other thing about the automatic mode too, is it engages the thrusters. So when you do the 45 here, instead of just an engine to turn your boat, you get the engines and the thrusters, which what that does is it gives you like a lateral 45 degree. Okay, and I always recommend to everybody that when they get, you know, when they first get the yacht controller and they get this new remote, to take it out in the open and play with it to see exactly how your boat's going to respond because some of the engines are more powerful, some of the thrusters, you know, maybe the bow thruster is more po powerful, so you want to see how it's going to work. Um, also, too, in, in either manual or automatic mode, when you hit it straight over to the side, you're going to get both thrusters to move your boat laterally, sideways. Okay, the, only, uh, the last thing is the um, S button is for speed. And this is only, this is a, an option that can be purchased and it gives you the choice of uh, incremental throttle. You get five profiles. When you hit this speed button, it's gonna see, you're gonna see it flash once, okay? And there's a, five profiles. Each time you hit the button, it's going to change the amount of flashes. Now it's flashing twice. Okay, then it'll go to three times. Then it'll go to four times. Then it'll go to five times. Okay, and the next step is turning it back off. Okay, what you can do also too, if you wanna turn it off without going through all five, once it's on and it's in whatever profile it's in, you can turn it back off by holding it down for three seconds. 
and it'll shut it off. Now what the profiles are is they give you, they're set from the factory, they give you five profiles. The first one is 10% throttle over 10 seconds. Second one is 10% throttle over five seconds. Third one is 20% uh, throttle over 10 seconds. Fourth one is 20% over five seconds. And the fifth one is 30% over 10 seconds. And those are the functions of the new Fusion Plus.